So another variation of our risotto milanese is a shrimp risotto. Uh, in this case, we'll be using some beautiful golf white prawns, um, you know, good size, you know, because I like them. Um, and they taste so much sweeter than their farm-raised cousins. Same thing, same base. Always start with a really good olive oil. Okay, hot frying pan. We want to add, which we have peeled and deveined earlier. And we want to give them time to start cooking. Brown in nicely. They turn this beautiful orangey pinkish color. Now these are very large, so they'll take a couple of minutes uh, to cook. I would like to season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. And these, you know, although they're large, shrimps tend to cook fairly fast. So we do not want to overcook them. So traditionally, once you start seeing a solid white color on the ends here, your shrimp is pretty much done if, you know, and ready to go. In this case, we're gonna splash just a little bit of white wine, a little bit of butter. Then we're gonna add that risotto that we had cooked earlier as a traditional classic Milanese plain. And we're gonna fold it in, fold our shrimp in. We're gonna give it a little bit of time. Now a little bit of fish stock. And let our risotto finish up. So traditionally, seafood risottos do not get Parmesan cheese in Italy. Um, of course, to each their own taste. And you can if you'd like. We give it a little bit more time for the risotto to absorb all the broth we added to it. But you still want it to be nice and creamy. And we have a little bit of Italian parsley we will use to garnish. There you have it, our shrimp risotto as a finished product on the plate. So we took our traditional Milanese risotto and then we made three different variations from one.